Raiders had to get dressed in the dark this morning after overnight winds knocked out power in several spots. Yeah, Trevor Alt to track down the details of what happened. With a gorgeous sunrise unveiling a cloudless sky, you wouldn't think Portland's weather would be problematic. But for more than 4,000 people in both Far East and Northwest Portland, strong wind gusts left them in the dark. The bulk of the outages raced, uh, related to just two incidents, so tree, two tree limbs that took out what we call a feeder. Those feeders are a main electrical line that can provide power for several thousand customers, which many learned firsthand overnight. The wind is the, is the culprit, and at this time of year, the trees still have a heavy leaf cover, so that kind of makes them a little bit more vulnerable. The good news is that when a feeder goes down, repair crews can restore the power to most customers without having to visit multiple spots. As of 11 a.m., power was back on for about 90% of the people who were affected, with the remaining outages for an unlucky few in scattered spots. The bad news on scattered outages is that it takes just as many crews just as long to get around to each site as it does to bring 2,000 customers back on. Portland General Electric did apologize for the outages, but they said this time of year they are bound to happen, and sometimes at the worst times. Take Friday's blacked out football game in Tigard as an example. The best thing you can do is prepare for the worst. Have alternate light sources and phone chargers ready, and maybe even canned food in case it's an extended outage, because these are the first first major outages of the fall and winter, but they surely won't be the last. In Portland, Trevor Alt, Coin 6 News.